In this video we're going to cover working with AutoPlace templates. Uh, this is also referred to as anchor tagging and this allows you to place your DocuSign tabs or fields uh, in the corresponding place where a particular string that you've added to your document appears. Uh, so let's run through uh, how this works. So in the FME Signature Link DocuSign Edition solution there's a, a layout that uh, demonstrates how this works. So if we go and have a look at uh, this custom agreement AutoPlace PDF layout uh, you can see if I could sort of click here um, there's some uh, text objects on this layout and they're set to a, a white fill and that's uh, for a particular reason which is to make them uh, invisible uh, so if I was to just select these and change the uh, text color to something that we can see such as uh, we'll just make them red uh, you can see here that I've put some text objects in the particular format so I'm using a slash signame one slash slash signame two and so on um, and these are my strings and I'm going to tell DocuSign uh, to search for these strings and if it finds any of those strings uh, to place um, one uh, tab there and a tab there and there and for the recipient one and the same in this column for uh, recipient two. So let's go and have a look at how you'd set this up. So I'll just get out of there, I won't save that. So to the naked eye, uh, if we just go into preview mode, yeah, those um, strings are there, text objects are there, but we just can't see them and they don't appear when you when you print this as well. So let's get back into browse mode and we'll jump over to the list of templates and we'll go into the auto pl place agreement template. And uh, this is basically being set up to uh, populate those um, strings that we're just looking at on the layout. So uh, if we click on this little gear icon here we get the auto place settings and you can see uh, if I go to say uh, the second one uh, that's where I've got that sig name one with the uh, slashes and that's the same string that we we're just looking at on the layout and if we've got the uh, sign here one we've got the signature one string the date sign we've got the date sign one string and then they're just repeated with the number two for the uh, second recipient and so on so that's basically telling DocuSign um, whenever you see a uh, sig name one uh, with a slashes uh, in the front and the back um, I want you to put in a, uh, a tab and in this case it's going to be a, a full name tab and for the other strings we've got a date signed and a sign here tab as well so let's go and see how this works in practice so we'll go over to requests I've uh, created a request and I've selected my auto place agreement template I've added a couple of recipients that I can receive the email to so let's just click uh, send request and that's going to go and authenticate with DocuSign, uh, generate the tokens, and then it'll uh, send that request off. Okay, so we've authenticated and the request has been sent. So I've got my envelope ID. So let's jump over to my mail client. And uh, I should have an email coming through, which I can see uh, here it comes. Okay, so I'm going to click review documents. So I'm Joe Simpson in this case, and Joe Simpson is... Um, recipient number one. So let's go and click review document, take us to that uh, agreement in the DocuSign website. I'm just using the uh, sandbox or the demo account uh, for this demonstration. Okay, so it's taking me to the agreement. We'll just allow that and uh, we'll hit continue. Okay, and you can see what it's done is it's put in um, uh, those tabs automatically. So it's put in my name, um, so if we're going to have a look at that template. Um, so I'm recipient one, so you can see it's put in uh, my name uh, for the uh, first string. It's put in a sign here tab, uh, which is uh, signature one here, which is the second string, and it's put in the automatically puts in the date signed, uh, which is this um, auto place setting tab up here. So um, I can basically just click finish. I'll go and sign that and hit finish. And that's uh, me as recipient one done. So, uh, AutoPlace makes it really easy to um, assign your uh, DocuSign tabs or fields to your document. Uh, it's great for situations where you don't know in advance how long the document might be. It might be one page, it might be two pages. Um, you might not know how many pages there are in the document. Uh, you might have a legal contract that grows in length based on the number of. Um, uh, clauses that have been included and so on. So for any document where you can't specify the uh, fixed location of the tabs in advance, uh, AutoPlace is a great solution. Uh,
Thanks for watching.